Amanda from Undoes Life here and I get a lot of questions about several of the recipes that I make. So I thought I would do a video with step-by-step -step instructions of a few of our family favorites. So today is Monday and it's a busy day and so today I'm making tater tot casserole and so it's just a quick meal and I'll show you how to do it um, and it is a fa family favorite. Now my husband calls this like cheesy chicken tater tots or something because he has this weird aversion to casseroles. Anyway, but you do make it in the crock pot and so yeah, let's get started. I will post the blog link below with the full um, with the full uh, recipe and everything but uh, a lot of you still had questions so I thought I would do a video. Okay, let's start with the things you're going to need. First off in the back we do, I do have my crock pot. You're going to need boneless, skinless chicken. I just use like the flash frozen chicken, but you can use fresh whatever, whatever you have. Boneless, skinless chicken. You're going to need shredded cheese. I prefer the Colby Jack, but you could use just um, cheddar cheese, whatever, whatever you like. Um, you're going to need a bag. Um, this is a, a two pound, 32 ounce bag of um, tater tots. These are just from Aldi's. You're going to need bacon, and I'm going to actually make up some bacon. I'll show you that. But this is just um, fresh bacon that my in-laws harvested um, from their farm. You're going to need three-fourths cup of milk and some salt and pepper. Okay, so what I'm doing here is making up my bacon. Now, sometimes I have this already made up. You can use bacon bits or anything like that, but I prefer to make my own. So what I do is every once in a while, I cook up a whole bunch of bacon. This is just fresh bacon that um, from uh, our, my in-laws have a farm and they harvested um, a hog not too long ago and we have fresh bacon, which I love. So I'm very happy for that, thank you. So um, anyway, but I, I cook up, I, I just fry up a whole bunch of it at a time, or not, like one package. And one package of bacon is going to do you three or four meals. It's not going, it doesn't take a lot, but it just adds that kind of smoky flavor to it. It's just absolutely great. My husband loves it. But anyway, so I are, I go ahead and cook up a, a whole package and then I put it in individual baggies and put it in the freezer. And then when I want to make tater tot casserole or anything with bacon, pieces for that matter. Then I just go and grab a um, Ziploc baggie full of um, bacon. This time, however, I just happen to not have any on st in stock. And so it's time to make another batch. So that's what I'm doing first. Now, because I am uh, crumbling all of this up, I don't have to worry about my bacon pieces lying flat. When I cook my bacon for breakfast and things like that. I typically cook it in the oven. It, there's less grease that way, and which I'm going to drain this so it doesn't matter. And there's less grease that way and um, your, pay, your pieces lay flat. For this project, however, it doesn't matter. We're breaking up into pieces, so I'm just cooking on the stove. Okay, my bacon is cooked and I so wish you could smell my kitchen. Oh, there's nothing like the smell of fresh bacon, right? So it is done and it is, um, I've got it draining and cooling over here. And now it's time to assemble everything in the crock pot. One thing I forgot to mention in the ingredients list is that I do spray my crock pot with a little bit of cooking spray. This, what I use is just an olive oil cooking spray, but you can use anything. You can also use a crock pot liner, but I don't mind to clean it. So that's what I use. Okay, now you're gonna put a layer of your tater tots down on the bottom. Okay, now you're just going to sprinkle with a few of your bacon pieces. I think the recipe says like a third of the bacon pieces. Okay. Next, you're going to put in a third of the cheese. I'm just going to go directly on top of that. And next comes your chicken. Once your chicken is in, you're going to season it with some salt and pepper. Now you're going to add some more bacon. That's going to give that chicken a nice flavor. 
cheese. Okay, now you're gonna put like the rest of your tater tots on. I had one hanging out in the bag still. Okay, your cherry tots. And then I like to sprinkle some cheese and bacon on top. Once you have that, then you're going to pour your three-fourths cup milk on top. I was really worried about this because I was like, oh, is it going to make it soggy? It really doesn't. It just keeps everything from burning. All right, this is what it looks like so far. And we're going to cover that and you're going to put it, you're going to cook it in your crock pot from four to six hours you need to check on check on it between four and uh, you need to check on it at four hours some crock pots cook higher than others so but it's going to cook somewhere between four and six hours okay this is what it looks like when it's all finished